Hello everyone, my name is The Fox. This is Doom 2016 running on the GP2 N2. So right now, uh, we should, well, there's not a bunch of action going on. Uh, here's our frame rate. Right now we're getting 40-ish FPS. Uh, you can see that our CPU time is quite available. And you'll see that's available because we are indeed running Vulkan 1.0.62. Uh, Intel's latest 15.60 drivers from December 7th do include the latest Vulkan drivers. So they are working. It doesn't work on Dolphin just yet. It is working on PPSSPP and does show uh, a little bit of performance improvements on PPSSPP. It shows a huge performance improvements uh, on on Doom. It's running excellent. I really advise you to use uh, Vulkan, Vulkan API for Doom on the latest drivers as opposed to OpenGL. On OpenGL, our CPU would be pegged like crazy right now. Um, but yeah, that's it. Right now, you know what? Let me go ahead and show you some settings, but let me go ahead and take care of some stuff. Take care of some demons. I am recording at 4K60, so please do wait for YouTube to uh, fully finish processing this video before you go ahead and uh, watch it, because I know everyone's excited and they want to see it, but when the video first becomes available, it's only going to be uh, in 360p. Also, this is still early days yet. I'm hoping that Intel does improve their driver set, uh, because this literally is the very first instance of working Vulkan API drivers from Intel. Uh, I've been monitoring them for a while on my TechLest uh, 7Y30 CPU. And every time that there's an update, I've been following. They've made small improvements, and then they regressed when there was an uh, HDR. I fell down. When there was an HDR push, they regressed Vulkan down to 1.0. 1, 1 and then a month went by, and then all of a sudden Vulkan is up to its latest, and it's working great. Also, DX12 has some improvements on the latest uh, drivers as well, and they show to be working really good with games like uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Rise of the Tomb Raider, I'm getting, well, at least on the initial early screen, I'm getting 25 FPS, and I'll show that at the time. I'm just circling around. Why am I... Oh, I fell. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's just yeah, the dismiss. Yeah, great. Punch. Oh, my son wants to talk to me. Alrighty, so we're back in the mix. Uh, again, it's worth pointing out that all of these tests that I'm doing are at stock, out of the box experience. There is nothing I'm doing tweaking wise at all. All I did was put on lowest settings in Doom, and uh, it runs better than Switch, because Switch uh, gets like sub sub 30 frames a second. And we're, we're, we're pulling some weight here. So what's nice is when we get to... Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to talk and play. What is nice is that in the BIOS we can enable things like XTU. So we can undervolt the CPU. And let the GPU have more power. Let it ramp up. We can set it to 8 watts. And at least get seven max 7Y30 speeds. And if we go into the BIOS and set GPU to 1.2 gigahertz, which right now it's probably going to be defaulting around 800 megahertz, although because Vulkan is allowing us to use less CPU, say why can't I jump up there? Uh, we're probably uh, getting GPU kind of close to its uh, default max, which is 900 megahertz. But still, once once we know that we can boost up GPU. For sure, we're going to be able to get a uh, pull higher frames. So these are early days yet, both in drivers and in tweaking the Win 2, which I'm going to be showing later on. But right now, everyone wants me to just show out of box experience. And again, this is what you'll be having right right out of the gate. You won't have to do anything. Just set everything to low. My my kids are playing. 
Wait a minute, aha. Yeah, I crouched. Oh, there we go. I hit I hit thirty FPS right there. That's the other thing is uh, after playing with it for a while, the L3 and R3 triggers, it took me probably like 20-30 minutes of playing, like actively having to, with Doom, because you have to constantly hit the R3 button for, uh, for you know, doing that action kill. I've been, it's kind of forcing me to be mindful of the position of it. six minutes yeah so i mean you can basically see that we really haven't gone under 30 fps mostly we've been above 30 fps um and that's basically how the game plays it, it seldom goes under 30 fps it's um quite enjoyable and super playable uh so this is it literally again guys this is the seven watt experience that comes right out of the gate just set everything to low and that's it you're off the races Okay, so actually, you know, let me go ahead and lower the volume. This is what the fan sounds like. I don't know, you couldn't hear it from before, so I'm going to get it up a little bit closer this time. Get the fan in stereo. And uh, that's it. That's Doom 2016 running on the GPD Win 2. Runs amazing. Uh, I'm, I mean, I don't know what I think that the Switch is running under 720p. I don't know if it's running at 360p, but uh, definitely we're getting way better frame rate than the Switch does, because Switch gets under 30 FPS uh, consistently. Uh, also, I don't think with as many enemies on the screen, because this is at medium difficulty, not on low difficulty, to get, <laughs> to get better frame rate on Switch. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, there's more videos coming. I have GTA 5, Witcher 3, uh, Mario Kart 8 on Simu. Um... I have a bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff is coming. Uh, also, I'm off all week, so there's going to be a ton of videos. Just a whole bunch. Thank you so much for watching.